Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I thought for my next video I would show you guys one of my favorite hairstyles. Um, it's super simple, super easy. Um, all it will be is I do two Dutch braids right back here. Um, I like this style because a lot of times I don't like my hair in my face a lot. So a lot of times you will see it tucked behind my ear or you know, clip back or whatnot. So this is a super simple hairstyle that you can do. Um, if you know how to French braid, then you will know how to do a Dutch braid. And they go together. It's just the reverse of it. So what you'll need, um, I like, again, to always have like a little mirror closer than my big mirror in the back. Um, you'll want a brush and then you'll want two hair ties. Usually I use um, like, clear ones or dark like plastic ones but I am all out so I'm gonna have to make do with these two guys just for this video <laughs> so didn't realize I was out until trying to do the video um but so and then just two hair ties you could do just one back you could do more than two I just like the two um so I have already brushed through my hair though because when you're doing the braids, you it's hard if you have snarled or knots or whatnot when you're trying to grab some hair. Um, so it's good to make sure that it's all brushed out. My curls are a little messy today. And then all you're going to do is, I mean, I always have my part right here in the middle, but so I have a part in the middle. I'm just going to go ahead and start. I'll start on this side. There's like something floating all around. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to grab a little like this size to start with. And I'm going to cut it into three sections. And then again, a dash braid is just the opposite of a French braid so instead of going over I'm just gonna go under and that's what makes it a Dutch braid and I like to do a couple times to get the braid going just a couple times as you can see to get the braid started and then I'm just gonna start adding to it and I like to add little sections because I think that makes the braid stick out more if they're not big fat pieces and again just grabbing little sections and going under so I'll grab a little section right here and go under this other piece and I'm just working with my hair up here I you can grab from here if you want your ears to show but I don't so I'm just working with like hair that's up here that won't take away from um, it all being down over my ears and like the top so grab a little section from back here and go under section and go under so again if you know how to french braid you'll do good um with the dutch braid it's just the reverse of a french braid so instead of going over you just always going under my hair does not want to cooperate right now and then you'll just repeat this process all the way down. And I brush my hair, but of course, there's still some knots in it. And then we'll grab one more little section from back here. Now I have in the past um, 
put the hair tie like right here. So you can see that braid. Um, I have in the past left, stopped right here doing the braid and put them into like little pigtails. Sorry, that was my dogs. <laughs> um, I have stopped right here, like I was saying, and done like little pigtails with the ends. But most of the time, what I do once I get to the back, like the end of my head, I just keep, again, you can either put a hair tie right there or I like just to keep going with the braid and then not adding to it, just doing a regular braid. And so I'm not adding any hair at this point since I reached like the back of my head. And you can stop whenever doing it. I just like to go down pretty much like all the way down. I think that's good. So, all the way down here. Just put a hair tie in it. And then we'll do the other side and then I'll go through and like um, make it a messier because I don't like the tight braids all the time. Um, I like them to be a little messier. But so there is one side. You can see um, how it like sticks up and everything. And it's not that big of a braid up here, but and it gets everything out of my face. So then let's go ahead and do this side. I'm gonna brush through one more time. Just like that other side was so difficult. Okay, so I'm cute. I just always like this hairstyle. It's super simple. Then we'll just do the same, grab a section, break it into three, and then go under. And I like to do a couple just to get the braid going. Just a couple. Now we'll start adding. And again, I'm doing this so it's like out of my face up here. You can uh, grab down here, but for the purpose for me, I just like these tops hair, tops hair, <laughs> top hair to be out of my face. And the, you want smaller sections so the braid isn't so fat and chunky and it sticks out more. And I'm just working back again. hair is so snarly apparently even after brushing it. And then 
I just go till I get to the back, like the end of my head? Um, cause I'm not doing a braid all the way down. I'm just doing, I connect it to my head, um, on the top. And again, you can stop here and put it just into a little pony, probably two little pigtails. It's cute, but I'm going to keep going and since I've reached the back of my head, I'm not adding any more hair to it. I'm now just doing a normal braid with the rest of this hair. I always bring it to the front because my arms start to hurt. And I try to go down as far with this braid um, to match up with the other side. So I'll bring this one down a little, a little farther. That should be good. And usually I do use plastic little ones. I don't normally like to use these big ones, but I'm all out. So we're gonna have to make do what I have. Usually I don't like these thick ones for braids. I like them thinner so you don't really see the hair tie. So you can see the braids going under and now I like braids to be um, messier so I'm just gonna work pulling at it because I like it looser and messy. Gonna pull on it and pull out like my baby hairs. Do the same on this side. And I like my baby hairs. Cut out. But how cute is this when you have this? You know, it gets everything out of your face. And then you just have these cute. Little braids go down. I mean, I don't think you can ever have them too messy. Keep working at them until they're how you like them, but how cute are these braids? And you can do them with a French braid too. You don't have to do um, the Dutch braid style. I just like to do the Dutch over a French, but you can do whatever works for you. But I just gets it out of my face. Can't talk. <laughs> gets it out of my face, and it's just a cute super simple hairstyle and I mean or if you like your hair is just a mess and it's time to shower and your hair is greasy like this is a good way to get away with um not showering for one more day so I hope you guys enjoyed it um I hope this was helpful and that you guys will try it yourself it's super simple I promise um super easy and it's cute it acts you know, it looks like you put a lot of effort into it, but it's really not.
at heart. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.